back here at Chelsea Piers at Big East Men's and Women's Basketball Media Day, and it's the ladies' turn here, and right now we're joined by the new ladies on the block in the Big East Conference, Sarah Nelson, Marissa Janning of Creighton University, and first of all, I'll start with you, Sarah, since yes. you're a senior, yep. since you can beat Marissa up, since she's only yeah. a sophomore. I'm old. All right, all right. <laughs> you're not old, distinguished. How about that? Yeah, I like that. I like okay. That. We'll yeah. So, um, how do you like being a part of a new conference? It's awesome. It's a great feeling just to like have the name and recognition of the Big East. I think is great for us, and then to be able to travel to some cool places, like even being here in New York, is so much fun. So we're really excited, and we're kind of excited to live up to the second place voting we were given. Mm -hmm. So, is this your first time in New York? Yeah, it is. It's both of ours. So we last night we were being kind of like little tourists. We were going to Times Square and we were like, hey, it's Grand Central Station in the Empire State Building. So we were excited. We're typical like Midwest, like never been anywhere fun people. But it's awesome. It's great. We love it. How was your time in New York? Or is your time in New York? Talk about your experience. It was really fun going to Times Square. We were the typical tourists, like taking pictures everywhere. Like, oh, take a picture of me in front of this. Like, and then switching. And then people were just like, oh, tourists, like walking by. Like, it was really fun, though. Like, it was everything that I expected plus more like Times Square is something you definitely have to see and everywhere in New York like if you've never been like us you have to see it it was fun now Marissa you're going into your sophomore year last year as a freshman did so well 14 points per game on average part of a team that made the NCAA tournament last year it's another transition for you from high school to college now from uh, the Missouri Valley to the Big East so talk about all the different things that you've had to adjust to and will adjust to uh, now going into your sophomore year from my high school to the Missouri Valley, of course, you have to adjust just like in college in general to like the strength of players and the size and like the speed of the game. But going to the Big East with these kind of teams, it's going to be competitive, like all the coaches said. And like, it's just a whole new speed, a whole new strength, a whole new athleticism. Like we're, us as Creighton University, we're not the most athletic team, but we are girls that like can ex execute things correctly and do things. And that's how we made it to the NCAA tournament. These other teams are crazy athletic. You see these girls here that are 6'3 and can just probably run faster than I am, like that's fine. But um, I think adjusting to the strength and the speed is gonna be another big thing for all of us in, from the Missouri Valley. How will you adjust to the speed of the league? What do you guys do as a team that you think will kind of counteract what you will go up against on a nightly basis, at least in conference play? I think our endurance, like our conditioning will come in, but also we're a pretty deep team and I think everybody will play on every given night that we play against either our non-conference schools or even our conference schools. So I think that gives us a little bit of a leeway there. Uh, now, Sarah, you have been part of two consecutive NCAA tournament yeah. teams, uh, and you're the uh, veteran uh, of the group. Just talk about being a part of a university in the Midwest. Not too many people may know about for its women's basketball, mm -hmm. going to the NCAA tournament two consecutive years and winning an NCAA tournament game last year. Yeah, um, It was just great. Definitely coming from freshman year, we were kind of an average mid-major team. And then sophomore year, we peaked right at the end and won our tournament and got into the NCAA. Uh, and that experience in the end, we would kind of hold a grudge against St. John's. I'm not going to lie. So wherever they're at. But um, it was just a great experience to even go there, playing at Oklahoma and then losing on that last second shot, even though it was a tough loss to take, like just the experience was worth it. And I think that helped us transitioning into the next year with all of that experience in the tournament and knowing like how great it was to make it. We didn't want to like miss out on that chance again. And so I think that motivated us just that much more. And we got great freshmen like Marissa. So it was a lot of fun. And I think we're looking to build on that and hopefully make it three years in a row. So. And you're a pretty versatile player too. Led the team in blocks and assist the turnover ratio as mm -hmm. well just talk about your game and what lends uh, itself to its versatility uh, emulate players just talk about you get your game um, I would just say that I end up playing the post and I'm only about like six foot so I'm kind of an undersized post so I think that led to me having to in high school I kind of was a back to the basket type of player so I had to definitely expand out and um, one of our assistant coaches was like you're gonna have to shoot threes you have to do it and so I think that I just had to realize that there are gonna be times where I have to like use my advantages so if I'm guarding someone bigger than me I need to kind of step out and try to use my quickness and things like that so I think it's just more of an aspect of knowing who you're playing against and knowing like what you do better compared to them kind of using your advantages so now Marissa talk about your game a little bit seems as if you're more of a perimeter oriented person who can also put the ball on the floor so just talk about what you bring to the table on the floor I think with me being like a point guard for Creighton and I'm not I feel like I'm not just like a ball handler I'm able to attack the rim and I'm able to shoot the outside shot so it's like if we have someone else bringing up the ball I'm able to play the wing and I can shoot fairly good for a point guard I feel I guess I don't know <laughs> um, but I people have to respect that I can drive and I can also shoot so it's kind of hard to defend I mean there's a lot of girls here that can do that so it's just gonna be hard for me to guard point guards also because you have to respect so many parts of their game and it's just 
it's a hard thing because they could be quicker than you. I'm assuming they're going to be quicker than me, but we'll make it work. <laughs> you assume they're going to be quicker lying. than you? She's Come on. Fast. She needs to stop lying. <laughs> Why do you lie? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you just do? No, just kidding. Uh, um, you realize how hard it is for me to be standing in front of a couple of players from Creighton University when you guys in the NCAA tournament beat my alma mater. Ooh. Okay, uh, so uh, I, I, I don't know how I feel about this. So are you going to take even more? Are you going to take this to heart even more that the person you're standing next to is a person that his heart broke when <laughs> you guys uh, defeated Syracuse? I'm sorry, but I would not give back that win for anything. So sorry. For nothing? <laughs> for nothing. That was the greatest feeling ever. So What about not paying a cell phone bill for a year? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, I'll, yeah, hopefully I find some money on the ground or something, but. <laughs> Sarah Nelson, Marissa Janning, Creighton University, thank you so very much for joining us and best of luck this season in your first year in the Big East Conference. Thank you very thank much. You. All right.